The M&M Subtraction Book by Barbara Barbieri McGrath. M&M's candies are tasty. That's a fact. You'll see for yourself once you learn to subtract. To see how it's done, simply read on. Just learn to subtract until they are gone. Are M&M's candies in here? There's no doubt. But it's zero, you see, until they're poured out. Zero is an important number, even though it has no value. Zero means there is nothing of something. It's a full bag. Let's take some away. For learning subtraction, this is the day. Open the bag and spread out the candies. Sort them so that you have six groups of different colors. Each group is called a set. Brown set, yellow set, red set, green set, orange set, blue set. When doing subtraction, it's fun to compare which set has less than another set there. You can think of subtracting as comparing different sets of objects. Find out which color set has more than another, which has fewer. 13 is greater than 6. That's the greater than sign. The yellow set is greater than the red set. There are more yellow than red ones. We can write it this way. Yellow is greater than red. What else can you compare? 9 is greater than 5. Orange is greater than green. 5 is less than 10. The less than sign points to the left. Green is less than blue. Let's try our first problem. It's easy. You'll see. We'll look for the difference what the answer will be. An equation is a number sentence. Let's try writing one. Six minus two equals four. Six is the bigger number, two is the smaller number. This is the minus sign and this is the equal sign. The answer is the difference between two numbers. In subtraction, the smaller number is taken away from the larger number to get the answer. The bigger number goes on the left, the smaller number goes on the right, after the minus sign. The answer in a subtraction problem is called the difference. The difference comes after the equal sign. Start with six red candies. Take two candies away. You'll say the sentence this way. Six minus two equals four. Write some equations. They'll help to explain What's missing? What's left? How many remain? 9 minus 3 equals 6. 5 minus 4 equals 1. Now write the equation with the big number on top. Take some away. It's so hard to stop. Big number goes on top. Smaller number, minus sign. Equal sign, difference. Here the subtraction problem is set up a different way. When subtracting a number greater than zero, the answer is always less than the number you subtracted from. Big number goes on top, smaller number goes on bottom. Minus sign, equal sign, difference. Up and down gives subtraction a whole different look. The bottom from the top, that's what you took. 9 minus 5 equals 4. 8 minus 3 equals 5. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Subtraction starts with how many you had. To see if you're right, you just have to add. The opposite of subtraction is addition. It's always a good idea to check your answers in math. In subtraction, it's easy. Just add your answer to the number you took away. Does that add up to the number you started with? Then you did it right. 7 minus 4 is 3. If you subtracted correctly, these two numbers should match. 4 plus 3 equals 7. 
When subtracting large numbers, you will see ones, tens, hundreds. Place value is key. The numbers zero through nine are called digits. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bigger numbers from 10 to 99 use two of those digits, one digit in the ones column and one digit in the tens column. To subtract double digit numbers, you simply subtract the numbers in the ones column and the numbers in the tens column. Tens column, ones column. First, subtract the digits in the ones column. 9 minus 8 equals 1. Then subtract the digits in the tens column. 2 minus 1 equals 1. 1 ten and 1 1 equals 11. Since the large number is on top, it's easy. 9 minus 8 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. The answer is 11. It's fun to practice when you learn something new. Let's try some more problems. You know what to do. 17 minus 11 equals 6. You try. 24 minus 13 equals what? 11. 32 minus 20 equals 12. For two digit numbers, don't worry, don't fret. You'll just have to borrow. Let's see what you get. 37 is larger than 19, but in the ones column, the larger number is on the bottom. To subtract, you must borrow a 10 from the tens column. Now, there are only two tens left in the tens column. The seven becomes 17. 17 ones minus nine equals eight ones. Two tens minus one ten is ten, so the difference is eighteen. How many more can you do? Let's look at that problem. First, borrow a ten from the ones column. Second, add the ten to the ones column. Third, subtract the numbers in the ones column. Seventeen minus nine equals eight. Fourth, subtract the number in the tens column. Two minus one equals one. 37 minus 19 is 18. 18 candies are left. You've mastered subtraction, so give a big cheer. These M&M's candies will soon disappear.